Hello, today everyone, I'm going to show you a guide on how to install the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom game into your PC. This game is now out and is now very playable. So what you need is that you'll need to have these three files here that I have highlighted in my desktop and also an application called Ryujinx Emulator to be installed into your PC. So for those who don't know, uh, Ryujinx Emulator is a Nintendo Switch emulator that can play Nintendo Switch games as long as you have all of these files here installed in Ryujinx. Without these files, Ryujinx cannot play Switch games. So I'm just going to be hovering down here and let you show you guys that I have The Legend of Zelda, Shares of the Kingdom game, and it's in XCI file format, and it's a 16 GB file size game. So be sure to have enough space in order for you to play this game, okay, into your PC or into your laptop. So first of all, I'm going to teach you where to get Ryujinx. Just open up the browser and just type in Ryujinx Emulator and then search Ryujinx.org. This is our official website. Click on that and then go to the download tab here. And if you're from Mac or using Mac, your Mac OS should be in version 11 or later version in order for you to install Ryujinx. And if you're from Linux, uh, you can get the install here. And if you're from Windows, just like me, I'm using Windows 11, you can get the install here. So since I have already installed Regix, I'm just going to skip on this part because the download and installation process is really easy to do and that anyone can do this. So basically any noob can do the, uh, the installation. So I just show you guys the official way to get uh, Regix and you should get Regix only in this site. So I'm just going to min my Sith now and I'm going to assume that you have already installed the latest build of Regix. So if this is your first installation, be sure to boot up Regix now, run it. And then you'll be met with certain errors saying that you will need some certain files installed into your region. So what are those files? Those files are, are these three files here. Uh, the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware. Both should be in version 16.0.2 in order for it to detect and play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And this game should be in XE file format for Ryujinx. Uh, the, for this is the only file format that Ryujinx will be able to detect, okay? So, if you're asking me where to get all these files, legally speaking, the only way to do this is that you own a Nintendo Switch console, which is modded and has a custom firmware installed in it. Because if it has a custom firmware in it, it means that you can access your Nintendo Switch system files and you can gain access and copy all of the keys and firmware files from the Switch to your PC. Now, in order for you to get the Tears of the Kingdom game, um, there's no other way to do this but purchase the game, support Nintendo by buying the game and owning a physical copy of that game, and you can now digitally back up that game into an XEI file format, just like mine here. So uh, if you don't have a Switch but want to try out this game, or if you have a Switch but don't know how to mod or install custom firmware, but don't know what to do, basically, so I'm just gonna save you the hassle and teach you where to get all this file. So in order for you to get all of these files here, I'm just going to leave a QR code wherein you can scan this QR code here so that into your phone so that you'll be redirected to the page wherein you can get all of these files. So once you scan the QR code, uh, be sure to uh, hover down into the middle part of the website so that you'll get the XEFL format of the Tears of the Kingdom. Once you have done that, um, hover down to the bottom part of the website so that you'll get the keys and firmware file from the Switch, which is version 16.0.2, to your phone. So um, since you're using your phone into getting these files, be sure to connect your phone uh, into your PC using uh, USB cable so that you'll uh, transfer these files into your PC. So I'm going to assume that you have already done that and that it's time to install them into your Ryujinx. To do this, just go to Ryujinx, go to File, open a Ryujinx folder, open a system folder here, and all you have to do is open the keys uh, zip file here and transfer all of these files, copy and paste this file into this folder. Uh, this folder should be empty because of your presentation. Close in that. Now go to tools, install firmware, install firmware from XCI or zip file. We'll install the firmware file from the switch now uh, and hit open. And then it will say we have to install this. Hit yes. It's a, and the system version is successfully installed. Hit OK. Now, as you can see, that the system version is now the same as the firmware version. And that is good because it will now show you all of your Switch games here and their game icons. So if you see that there is a black or a blank icon in your games here, that means that you're using an outdated firmware or an outdated key. So be sure to follow the steps shown in this video tutorial in order for you to get only the latest files in order for you to play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom game.
So uh, the next step now is to optimize your Eugenics so that you'll be able to play Tears of the Kingdom game with no issues at all. To do this, just go to Options, go to Settings, and in this part, just pause the video and copy every setting that you see from here on out. So the game directories is where you'll put your Switch games. It could be anywhere in your PC or in your laptop, as so long as you know where it is. And also the games should be in XEI or NSP file format only. So as you can see, the Tears of the Kingdom game here is in XEI. Now I'm going to input, go to player one and configure, connect your controller. It's better uh, that you use a controller than, than mouse and keyboard and playing Switch games because that would be a hassle. So if you have a PlayStation or an Xbox, you can control, uh, you can set them up here, map them up according to your liking. But the dead zone in both left and right sticks should be in 0.20% so that there'll be no drifting into your plate through. So once done, hit save. Now go to system. Uh, in this part, uh, be sure to pause the video and copy every setting, okay? Now go into the graphics tab. This is the most important part, so be sure to copy everything. Graphics back and multi threading should be on. Graphics back end should be in uh, Vulkan API. Then the preferred GPU is your dedicated graphics card. The enhancements is uh, enable shader cache and enable macro HLE. Resolution scale should be in two times resolution so that the game will look much sharper and much more beautiful than the native resolution of Switch, but if your PC can handle that, then just revert to the native resolution. But for me, two times resolution is the best. Post-processing effect should be none. Upscale in by linear, isotropic filtering auto, and aspect ratio is in 16 by 9. And once done, hit apply and save. Now your Ryujinx is now fully optimized to run Legends of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom game and all of the previously released Nintendo Switch games. So, um... Uh, a little bit of disclaimer, I'm not going to show you guys a gameplay a gameplay of this game running into my PC because we all know that Nintendo is really strict and is very strict on this kind of content. They don't want it to be shown in the internet or in YouTube. So if I show you guys a gameplay that Tears of the Kingdom game runs into my PC using Ryujinx, that will get my channel into trouble. My videos will be taken down and my channel will be taken down. So that would be hassle for my side. So I hope you guys do understand on that part, but I'm willing to compromise and I'm gonna show you a proof that this game uh, runs in PC. I'm just gonna boot up in the title screen to show you guys that this game uh, works well. But after that, I'm just gonna stop the emulation from there. And I'm just gonna blur the screen from here on out so that Nintendo will not be able to hit me with any of their copyright strike into my channel or into my videos. So I do understand on that part. So now I am now in the title screen of the game and I'm just gonna stop the emulation from here. So as long as you followed all the steps in this video trail, you'll be able to play Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom into your PC with no issues at all. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of this game into your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, see you next time, and I hope you like this video trail. Goodbye for now.